All right, so here's a helmet that I got from a customer. It's a three-fourth um, motorcycle helmet. And old school style, lots of um, metal flake in it. So this is how it came from the customer. And this is the kind of the idea, the concept. He still wants it with the metal flake, but it's gonna be a, um, what is that color? Um, a copper pearl. So that's gonna be the copper pearl, the Harley sign, some skulls, and some uh, flakes all in it. But it's just a rough draft, but um, let's go ahead and get this thing prepped up and make it look like something. All right. All right, so uh, step one in this process, I went ahead and uh, washed the helmet with warm soapy water. Then I came back and wiped it down with wax and grease remover. I got it masked up with fine line tape around the trim and then regular masking tape, auto, ma auto masking tape. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sand down this clear coat. And me personally, I, I do not like metal flake. Uh, you know, to each his own. But that's what the customer wants, so that's what the customer gonna get. For me personally, metal flake look, metal flake look like crap to me. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm in the new put together booth. Like I said, just temporary, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray some compressed air on here to get the uh, rest of the dust off from sanding it down. And then we're gonna go ahead and wipe it down with wax and grease remover and get ready to start painting this helmet. All right. Some grease remover, my microfiber towel. Go ahead and get this thing wiped down. Alright, so I'm going ahead and just double check on my uh, miniature spray gun parts. I clean them after every use, but I um, haven't used this one in a while, so I'm double checking and cleaning it again before I go ahead and um, seal this helmet up. But I know a lot of my viewers ask, you know, what airbrush artists I like and who videos I watch and stuff. I like a lot of airbrush artists um, work and stuff. But um, one of the ones who really inspired me when I first started watching YouTube videos was um, Ed Hub. So if y'all got a chance, check out some of his work, you know. I was inspired by his work and the stuff that he does, you know, when I first started painting and airbrushing. Now I like a whole bunch of airbrush artists, but he was one of the main ones, you know, who really, really wanted me to practice hard and try to take it to the next level. So, Ed Hubs, I appreciate your videos and you sharing your knowledge and taking the time to make the videos and share your knowledge, you know, from one artist to another artist and painter. I really do appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this Just thing painted. Just wanted to show y'all right quick my setup on my um, hose and my spray gun. I used the little disposable um, moisture traps. Then I have a extra moisture trap here, so that's two moisture traps right there on the spray gun itself. Then you come over here on my line. I keep a moisture trap right there, and then on my um, air compressor it has a um, moisture trap so just you know extra security to make sure I keep all the um, moisture out of the lines when I'm um, spraying my projects all right All right, got the majority, well to say the main part of the design laid out. 
Still got to mask off some parts up in here where it's going to be black also. And like I said, this is the pretty much the idea. Quick sketch. Give me something to map out stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and finish laying out the design. And we're going to go ahead and mix up some Orion Silver. And spray that. This just shows how much time and masking tape material and all is used when we're laying out designs. A lot of work goes into this. Alright, so I got the helmet in the booth. Got the design pretty much masked out. I think I'm going to end up painting the helmet with that orange and blue in there like that. I like that, but um, that's just a masked off design. But um. About to get ready to spray the Orion Silver on it now. And like I said, this is the um, design that the customer wanted. So, what the customer want or what the customer get. But let's go ahead and get suited up. Mix up this Orion Silver. And get the spray. everything back masked now it's time to spray the copper pearl all right so I'm gonna be spraying some Sherman 2 FX Cosmic Sparks copper penny then we'll be adding some copper flakes then he wants some um, skulls ghosted in so I'm going to use a little bit of um, pearl black, but this is um, copper, ah copper, copper pearl. So first time ever spraying um, pearl paints and flakes. So I'm going to spray a test panel first and then I will spray the helmet. And I always recommend doing that because I do not want to attempt to spray it on the helmet and mess it up and then have to start all over so I'm going to go ahead and spray this test panel and once I feel comfortable with it then we'll go in the booth and do the helmet ready for that copper pearl copper penny Sherman House of Color FX2 copper pearl and some flakes. The flakes won't come to later. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and spray the uh, copper pearl on there. Give it time for the uh, chemicals to react. Make sure everything is cured and dried up. Then I will mix my flakes with some Intercoat Clear and spray it on. until I get the desired effect. This is all right, so I'm in the booth checking out this copper pearl. The copper pearl is not a bad color, I kind of like that. But um, just to match the guy's motorcycle, he has a, um, uh, I think it's a limited edition anniversary Platinum Pearl Harley. So this helmet is to match that. But uh, it's coming nicely. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ghost some um, skulls up in here. He wants some skulls ghosted up in there. So I'm gonna use some copper pearl and mix a little bit, just a little bit of um, black pearl with it. Just to make it a little darker so they can be ghosted in there. And then he wants some um, uh, copper metal flake in there. Now, like I said, this is my first time spraying pearl 
and metal flakes. So I don't know how that metal flake is going to do over them ghost flames. So I'm going to do a little practice panel and see if it's going to come out right. They'll figure out how I'm going to go about doing this the best way. Okay, right. what I'm um, doing too is it's been a while since I cleaned my miniature spray guns. I'll probably end up cleaning them all today, but just got a regular old metal bucket. Got the guns in the solution, you just let them sit and it'll um, remove all the old dry cured paint. Make sure you have proper ventilation and gloves, which I don't have my gloves on now, but they're sitting right there. But just to show you, and this stuff works good. So if your guns ever get clogged up and not functioning properly because of old dry paint, this stuff works good. Yeah, just follow the directions and make sure you um, dispose of it properly. All right. So here's how the hammer's looking so far. They want the skulls ghosted in, so they're lightly ghosted in there. You can see them from different angles. But um, I'm going to add the metal flake, mix it up with some intercoat clear, and then we'll go ahead and um, spray that metal flake. And then unmask that the um, the paint cures. All right. Alright, so I'm slowly removing the um, fine line tape off to reveal the other colors and make sure you do it at an angle and not do not do it like this right here straight out make sure you do it at an angle that way it doesn't peel the paint off that's why I say it's so important to make sure you prep everything the right way because it's been plenty of times that I got to this stage right here and went to unmask and it just ripped the whole paint off and then got to do the whole thing over. Alright, let's finish getting this thing unmasked and see how it's going to be looking before we put these four coats of clear on it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm all suited up. Finna get ready to go ahead and spray this um, clear coat on this um, motorcycle helmet. And like I said, I do four coats of clear on all my projects. I got my arm. Um, Spray gun all cleaned up, nice and clean, ready to go. So I'm about to mix up this clear. All right, go to so work. This is inside of the booth before I um, spray the clear on it. So, oh, about to trip up in here. Like I said, this is before I spray the clear on it. Inside of the booth, hard to see those flakes. Let's see if that clear is going to make those flakes pop out some more. Skulls ghosted in there. at the helmet outside of the booth before I color sand it. And this is with um, three coats of clear. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and um, color sand it down. Remove the tape lines. And I'll probably come back and do the final clear on it. Let's 
Goals ghosted in there. Harley logo. Like I said, first time spraying um, pearl and first time spraying um, flake. It's hard to see the flake in there. I had the small ones. Uh, that stuff was kind of messy. I don't care for it, but got to keep the customer happy. It, it is some flake in there. Okay, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is in there. But as always, um, if you like something custom painted by me, you can reach me on my website, which will be posted at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, leave comments, let me know what you think. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video.